Hey, so in this video I will show you how to make Weisswurst at home. First of all, for the meat mixture, there are like different types. Uh, today, most of the Weisswurst is done by pork. Um, however, I'm using veal and pork back fat, which is like a traditional way, Munich style Weisswurst. And then for the spices, we need parsley and mustard seeds, white pepper and mace. And then of course we need salt and cutter phosphate and some crushed ice to mix it together later on. First of all, uh, I mix and blend the spices into a very fine powder. Uh, this ensures like even distribution later on. So I ground it up and as you can see, very nice fine powder here. And in addition to the powder, I also grated a bit of lemon zest. Um, as always, you can find the whole ingredient list below in the description. Then cut down the meat and the back fat into stripes. The size can vary depending on how big your meat grinder is. And once you have cut them, then you can mix them all together. Just make sure that the meat and fat is evenly distributed. And then add the spices and massage them in and also make sure they are evenly distributed throughout the whole meat fat mixture. And you can then place it into a freezer for one to two hours. Uh, this will help with the next step, the grinding process. Okay, so I ground up some crushed ice first. You don't have to do this if you already have crushed ice, but we need it later on uh, in the mixing process. For the meat, I used the smallest perforated disc. Just make sure you get it as fine as possible. That's also uh, why I ground it up twice. Uh, this will help with the mixing process later on. As you can see, it's like a very fine mass coming out with the second grind. However, the thing is we want it even finer, even more distributed. So that's why in the next step, I added it to a food processor. As you can see, my food processor is too small. That's why I added it in batches. However, if, like a, if you have a big one or if you even have like a sausage cutter, then you can just add it uh, all at one. And then the next part is also where I add the cutter phosphate. Um, this will help to bind together the crushed ice, like the water and the meat mixture. Um, I get a lot of questions about this, so I also added an additional article below to explain it internationally, like uh, what is it and why do I use it. Um, so yeah, you can read it up there. And then I gradually add the ice, because what will happen now through the cutting process is that the meat mixture will rise in temperature and we don't want to get it above 12 degrees Celsius, which is like around 53 degrees Fahrenheit. That's also why I measure the temperature uh, regularly, uh, because otherwise if the meat mixture will be too warm, uh, it will break and in, it will not work later on. So yeah, make sure to keep up the temperature, gradually add the ice and mix it into a very fine paste. This is now also the time where you can add the parsley so it gets evenly distributed and also chopped up. And yeah, at the end it should look a bit like this. Um, a super fine mass, very gooey, I would say. Um, and yeah, that's the perfect consistency. And now it's time to fill the sausages. Um, I have a sausage stuffer for this. Uh, I get the mass into it and then also put the casing onto it. I'm using Hawk Casings caliber 2830 and I soak them in warm water for around 30 minutes before. And once you have them on top, just press out the meat mixture until you can see it. Get rid of the air and tie a knot into it. And then you can fill the meat mixture into the casing. Just make sure to not fill it like too hard because otherwise they will burst when we poach them later on. And then it's time to link the sausages. Uh, as you can do it as you want, you can either um, twist them in one direction and then the next one in the other one, or you skip one and go the other way around. The size is also up to you. However, traditionally, a uh, vice is around like 80 grams. 
um, yeah, like the size what I am twisting off now is like a traditional length, I would say. Once you have all your sausages ready, you can then poach them in 80 degrees Celsius hot water, which is around 176 Fahrenheit uh, for around like one to one and a half hours. If you don't want to use any casings, you can also fill them in a jar, um, make sure there's no air in it, um, put it on the table, and then you can also cook it for around two hours. However, then you don't have um, such good looking file source as I now have. Um, the sweet mustard, also a must. Uh, I will also upload a video soon how to do this. Uh, I now cut them open, get rid of the casing and try it. In Bavaria, um, sometimes you would zuzel the Weisswurst, which is just eat it out of the casing. However, I'm going now with the more YouTube friendly version and cut me a piece. Um, looks good, very fine. Um, bit of sweet mustard, whoop. Yeah, yeah. It, it just tastes incredible, probably better than most of the Weisswurst you've ever eaten. Uh, totally recommend it. If you like the recipe, it's below again in the description. And thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you like the video. There will be weekly sausage videos coming up. And yeah, I'll see you till the next one. Bye bye.